It appears many people are unfamiliar with xylitol, even though it's been used for over 100 years as a diabetic sugar alternative in parts of Europe. It has a very low glycemic index and it stabilizes blood glucose. It was actually used when there was a sugar shortage in England during World War II. And what they noticed was people who used xylitol during that time, and especially the children who grew up during that time, had less cavities and less middle ear infections. And that was why scientists started studying the oral health benefits of xylitol in the early 50s. And what we know now about xylitol is so much more. We know that for oral health, the best way to consume xylitol is in small, frequent amounts, little amounts frequently throughout the day, rather than having a lot at once. So instead of putting it in your coffee, you would have a couple of mints or a piece of gum at the end of every meal. And why this is better is because every time you consume xylitol, it stimulates a special flow of mineral dense uh, saliva into your mouth that helps heal and remineralize your teeth. At the same time, it feeds the good bacteria in your mouth and it makes plaque slippery. So when you consume xylitol, you want to have it ideally at the end of meals. If you only eat a few times a day, then just add some extra times and aim for somewhere in the region of about six grams a day if you want to reduce plaque and really impress your dentist at the next visit. If you have less than three grams a day as an adult, you won't necessarily see any benefit. So for plaque change, you want to be up there in the six to seven grams a day. And studies have shown that over 10 grams a day really produces no additional oral health benefit. So you want to be in that region of, of somewhere between six and seven grams a day, ideally. It's safe to eat, consume at night. If you have a dry mouth and you wake up, have a drink of water and with a couple of xylitol mints. All my grandkids, the last thing they do before they go to bed at night is have a couple of xylitol mints after they've cleaned their teeth. And this can, ensures that they will go to bed with healthy saliva on their teeth. Now, although xylitol is so fantastic and awesome for, uh, for humans, I am delighted to see out there, and I thank those of you who've made the comments that we should not share xylitol with our pets or with our dogs. Xylitol can be toxic to animals, and any reputable xylitol company should clearly state this on their packaging.